we're here to see the transit of Venus because it's very rare, usually once in a lifetime. Um, that's about it. Can't have fun. You know, a big family thing we can do every little while. This only happens every 117 years. Why not see it? Something to do on a Tuesday night, right? I did know some of it. Um, not entirely everything. I do know that it was um, it was viewed in Providence in what was it, 1769? Yes. It was 1769. It was viewed in Providence by John Brown and uh, what's his name? There? Uh, Stephen Hopkins. So I do know that it did take place, take place at that time, and it was a big event. And there are two streets uh, in Providence named after it: Planet Street and Transit Street. I lived on Transit Street. Well, she did live on Transit Street. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, we have been waiting, anticipating it for quite some time. We're very excited. I guess normal people don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love space and um, I just love looking at stars and um, I love planets. Um, I brought this because um, I want to um, look at the planets up close because um, if the clouds clear up, I could um, look at the um, planets and if there's no telescopes in there. Yeah. He wants to see this big eclipse yeah. that's going on. I don't think it's going to happen anytime and soon I just, again. I never saw anything like this before. My science teacher was just telling everyone in Basically, I'm pretty sure she told the entire school, and we just want to see this eclipse about yeah. Venus. Sounds interesting. Yeah, so we're just like, okay, and then if we do come, we get an A. <laughs> Even though it's not Saturday right now, we're hoping to see the have information about the transit. Did you get your glasses yet? All right, so there they are. They won't work in here, they're looking at the sun, and even if you can't see it today, you can use it uh, to look at sun and the sunspots and things like that. If you like the brochure, tell us a little more about the transit. And thank you for coming, if you're waiting there. The live feed is upstairs, we're hoping the sun will come out. It looks like it wants to peek out, it's being a little bit shy. Again, here are your eclipse glasses once you pay. You'll get these, and if the sun comes out, you go outside, check it out, and come back in. We can keep viewing it live from Hawaii, where it's all the sun's always shining. <laughs> and again, we're special scavenger hunt. We have the live feed upstairs, and it looks like the sun wants to peek through. Even if it peeks through, and you have those glasses, you might see that look the little dot. I know it's, pe it's peeking through. So even with the peeking through, if they go to look, they can see it. Those events, you're like, oh, okay, that's all it is. It looks like a pimple in front. Of it. It's not any bigger than some of the sunspots, really. It's exciting. It's exciting. Um, my name is Renee Gamber. I'm the director of the Museum of Natural History in Providence. And it's so exciting to see so many people here uh, to see the transit of Venus. And we weren't expecting the crowd and we were ready with the glasses, the binoculars, the webcast. And, you know, hopefully people have a new uh, excitement about science. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So even though we won't be able to see Venus after today, take these and you can see the sunspots on the